Hi. So, uh, in this lecture, we will see ending with questions like uh, ending with A, ending with A, B, A, ending with something like that. Okay. So, don't write the notes. Notes is given in the description. And uh, watch my videos at 2x speed. I will be very slow while explaining. Okay. So, first question is let us say sigma equal to A comma B. We have two symbols in the language. Sigma equal to A comma B. Now the language is set of all strings ending with A. Set of all strings ending with A. Okay. So what are the strings that are there in the language? So A is in the language which ends with A. Epsilon cannot be in the language. Right. And then B A can be in the language. A A can be in the language. A A A can be in the language. A B A can be language. Basically all the strings which are ending with a can be in the language writing a regular expression for this is very simple right so initially anything can come initially anything can come and i'm going to end it with a right so how do i get this regular expression because if you take a string ending with a at the end there can be a and at the beginning there can be anything a a's or b's or anything so that is how i got this regular expression once you get this regular expression doing a dfa is nfa is very simple right so what is nfa a plus b star right so you put a comma b a plus b star followed by a, a ending with a simple right this is a NFA, not a DFA, because on small a, it is going to be in the same state as well as it is going to other state. And for this state, we didn't define what happens on a or b. That is why this is NFA, not a DFA. Now let's do DFA design. Okay. So the smallest string in the language is a. A has to be accepted. This is the skeleton. A has to be accepted, right? A has to be accepted. Now, if I get a B initially, if I get a B initially, should I kill it? I don't, I don't have to kill it because after B, there can be somewhere A, it can, it can also end with A. Even though initially I get a B, it can end with A. Therefore, there is hope. When there is hope, don't kill. So, any number of Bs, you wait for an A. So, this state is complete. A and B are given, right? Now, how did you reach this state when you saw a A, thinking that that is the last A, you reach that state. But then if there are more number of strings coming in, more number of symbols even after that A, what happens? If there are any number of A's, it is still ending with A. Therefore, any number of A's are still ending with A. Any number of A's are still ending with A. Now, what happens if I get a B? I have to wait for a A. If I, for example, if I say B A, then I'm here. Then if I get a B, then again I have to wait for a A, right? Therefore, if I get a B, I will go back and wait for a A. Wait for a A. So this is NFA. This is both DFA and NFA, and this is the regular expression for it. Regular expression for it, right? Right. Now, if you observe it, since the question is about ending with A, you are getting two states, N plus 1. Why? Because you have to put that A on an edge. Therefore, you are getting two states. That is why it is N plus 1. So, I will tell you how to answer this question without so actually solving it. I will tell you how to answer this question without actually solving it in the exam. Hmm? So now let us say sigma equal to a comma b and the language is set of all strings ending with a b set of all strings ending with a b. Now what is the language you will have a b you will have a a b you will have b a b you will have a a a b so on. So on.
right so writing a regular expression for this is very simple so it is a plus b star there can be any number of a's and b's but it should end with a b it should end with a b right now drawing the nfa is very simple so you are going to put a comma b for a plus b star and then you are going to do a and then you are going to do b a b accepted now this is an nfa not a dfa because on small a you are saying two things and this is not defined on a and this is not defined on a comma b therefore this is nfa not a dfa now let's do the dfa design so it has to end with a b so what is the minimum string a b right so accept it accept a b okay accept it now initially any number of b's can come don't kill it because there is a hope that at the end we get a b right so any number of b's can come don't kill it there is a hope that we can get a b now how did you reach this state you have reached this state by seeing a a right right now if i get a b i am done it will be ending with a b therefore i will be in this state as and i can see any number of a's and i still be waiting for a b so this state is complete this state is complete we have to talk about this state we have to talk about this state right right so here how did you reach this state by seeing a b now if i get a a then i should get a b so that it will end with a b therefore if i get a a i'll go back and wait for a b now how did i reach this state by seeing a b by seeing a b i have reached this state right right now if i get a b the entire sequence is spoiled i have to wait for a b completely i have to wait for a b therefore i will come to this state upon seeing a b right simple simple now if you observe it since the language is saying that it has to end with a b you have to accept a b first so therefore you have to put that a b on the edges when you put a b on the edges you are getting three states right you are getting three states therefore therefore if a string has to end with a b a b how many states will be there 1 2 3 4 these four symbols have to be kept on the transition therefore the number of states i will have is 5 the number of states i will have is 5 if they say string should end with a b a b a b b a how many states will be there in the minimal dfa or minimal finite automata how many states will be there see there can be questions about minimal automata finite automata when they say minimal finite automata they say either dfa or nfa generally nfa will have less number of states compared to dfa so if the question is about minimal finite automata you have to think about nfa not dfa but anyway in this case both nfa and dfa have the same number of states so how many states you will get one two three four five six seven eight right therefore you are going to get nine states you don't have to draw the dfa and do the design once you understand this pattern it is very easy to do right so let's do one more question let us say the language is ending with a b a okay the language is ending with a b a set of all strings ending with a b a now drawing the or let us see let us give the regular expression what is the regular expression a plus b star followed by a b a right now drawing nfa is very easy so a comma b, b this can be a plus b star and then a b a 
accepted a b a accepted that is the nfa right minimal nfa now how do you do dfa this is going to be a little bit tricky i mean not tricky it is going to be lengthy so a b a has to be accepted right because that is the minimal string a b a has to be accepted this is the minimal string right now initially any number of b's can come i will wait for a a b a now how do i reach this state by seeing a a now after seeing a a if i get a a still i have to wait for b a therefore this is the state waiting for b a so any number of a's i can get i will wait for a b a i'll wait for a b a <coughs> now how do i reach this state i reach this state by seeing a b right now if i get a a again i have to wait for a ba right so i have to go back and wait for a ba on the, on the a now how do i reach this state by seeing a b now if i see a b i reach this state by seeing a a b if i see a b the entire sequence is spoiled i have to again wait for a b a therefore go to the starting and wait for a b a right so this is on b now let us say i have reached this state how do i reach this state by seeing a b a right now if i get a a everything is spoiled not everything is spoiled if i get a a i have to wait for b a therefore i will go back and wait for b a now let us say how do i reach this state i have reached this state by seeing a b a right i have reached this state by seeing a b a now if i get a b ha huh? now a b is already there i have to just see a a so i will come back and i will just see a a right because that is going to see get a b a a acha 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 one minute i have, I have done something wrong here one minute okay mm -hmm. okay one minute how did i reach this state by seeing a a b a now if i get a b then i have to get a a that's it okay so the same thing so i have to go back on b and i can wait so how does it work you have seen a b a you have seen a b a and then you have seen a b you have seen a b and then if you see a a it is again making it a b a right that is where this is true so again if you see this this the question is about ending with a b a right ending with a b a so you have to definitely put a b a on the edges a b a on the edges so you are going to get four states which means if this if it is about it ending with a string of length n then you are going to get n plus 1 states then you are going to get n plus 1 states that is how you answer ending with questions if you want to take my gate classes we go to the website ravindrababuravala.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there okay so coming to the classes they are all recorded why am i doing recorded why am i not doing live classes is i have thousands of students registering for my courses every year but then if i conduct a live class only 20 or 30 people will be there 20 or 30 that's it maximum is 40 i had the reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time see you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed you have to watch at the pace at which i teach generally i will be very very slow while teaching so if you can go through the live classes you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast 400 plus hours content is there for gate and if you are going to watch them at normal pace it will take 400 hours but if you watch it at 2x speed it will take just 
200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10000 rupees it is very very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide we have test series we have doubt sessions we have videos we have lecture notes for every even you don't have to write any lecture notes i will provide you lecture notes for every subject you just have to sit back watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes short notes will be provided long notes will be provided formulas will be written in a separate notes everything will be there provided to you you don't have to work hard and coming to if you are planning to go abroad we also have study abroad program you can go through my number my number is on whatsapp my whatsapp number is in the website if you are planning to do masters abroad that is a very good choice it is better than doing masters in india so if you are planning to go abroad we will help you out right from the from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website see what is happening there even dsa course is there for 5000 rupees which is both in python and c++ okay so thank you so much